Association of Mine Workers and Construction Union President Joseph Matunja has issued an appeal to mining companies. He's asking them to put in stringent measures to protect workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Matunja says failing to do so could result in a health crisis in the sector. His comments come after 19 workers tested positive at Impala Platinum's Marula Mine in Limbobo. We're joined by the AMCO president now. Uh, Mr. Matunjo, good evening and thank you so much for your time. When we look at the response that there has been to uh, mining companies in, in particular, do you think that the action that has been taken, one, by the officials in Limpopo, where we've seen the highest outbreak, and two, the national uh, officials, has been sufficient enough to curb the spread of COVID-19 at our mines? Thank you. Good evening to you and to your viewers. Yes, you will recall that uh, as AMCO on the 5th of March, we call for urgent coronavirus uh, summit, of which no one heeded our call. Mm. And then there was this uh, uh, issue of testing, screening. And uh, we presented our submission even to DMRE that uh, screening itself is not sufficient. There must be a testing. Therefore, under these circumstances, I think the issue of screening is no longer sufficient on its own. If we have to save lives under the current situation, we need to have a universal, we need a universal testing, of which the screening itself, it's more objective, is, is not like a testing which it's uh, subjective, and, uh, subjective and also scientific. So therefore, for, to keep this virus in the mining sector or in any particular sector, we must have a universal testing, of which I know is quite expensive. I mean, you know, anything to do with safety, it eat the profits of the employer. But however, if they are serious about saving the industry, and moreover, to serve the workers and their families and the communities, they need not to be tracked. I mean, to court, they must do it voluntarily. That those who are already in the in in the space of work, a ramping of that fifty percent, they must be urgently go under universal testing. What didn't officials do, which led to the number of infections that we're seeing on our minds now? I think, as you know, that uh, coronavirus, uh, it, it's known and it's, it's a common cause that uh, it can hide within uh, your system without detecting with the thermal scanners. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the only way to detect it is through this objective scientific testing. Therefore, you can be a carrier without knowing. You can pass the scan on to find, to, to find that you are already a positive on coronavirus. Hence, we are calling for such. They could have their, uh, remember the minds, what they are saying. They are screening. And if the, the temperature is all right, it's 35, whatever uh, degree, so we are fine. You, you, you'll be able to pass through to work, only to find that the same corona, it's within you. They couldn't detect it through these thermal, uh, thermal scanners. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it is very apparent and very urgent that the workers must be tested objectively and scientifically. Sure. Uh, you, you're raising such important points. When it comes to the fact that many mines were allowed to operate, what we've now heard is that some of them took on much more employees than the allowed 50% minimum that the department had prescribed. What are you finding on the ground? Yes, I, I mean, is the reason, remember, previously they were just given a blank check mm -hmm. to say, come in, there was no... A regulation. I hope today is been gazetted those uh, regulations of which the companies have to comply with. And uh, yes, we do receive some reports that some of the mines are not issuing a proper PPE. They give this uh, 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 what's name mask, which when you go underground it get wet, is not changed. And then the buses, there is no social distancing that's being observed in the buses when they passing workers to the shaft. There are so many shortcomings around uh, this regulation or 
this uh, standard operation procedure currently because some of our branches leadership are not allowed even to open the offices we are still struggling in some of the mines they are not allowing them so but we think uh, if the government can gazette these regulations and have more inspectorate, it's an opportunity for DMRE to employ more young people, more graduates to be an inspectors, inspect these mines, because currently they are... We seem to be having a, a bit of difficulty with that line, but before I let you go, Mr. Matunjo, when then you look at um, the, the measures that have been implemented by the mining sector so far, where do you think the greatest risks lie? The greatest risk is that, uh, as I explained earlier on, you can be screened, and if are not detected in terms of temperature, you'll proceed to work. Of which screening is just a matter of separating to identify a person which area we are coming from. But when the problem lies when there is no objective testing, once they can implement an objective scientific testing, which we call a universal, because currently they only test you through this objective, which I'm mentioning, after you've been detected by the scanner, by the screening, uh, by the thermal scanners. But if you are not detected, you can go through to the workplace only to find you are already positive. But if we can be more scientific and more objective, we can detect the coronavirus before you enter the workplace. That's a challenge of which we appeal to all the CEOs of these companies to urgently embark on a universal, uh, I mean, uh, uh, testing, because currently you are only tested when you've been detected by the thermal scanners. But if you are not detected, you can go through to a workplace only to find you are a carrier of the virus. It's interesting because in the last cup, in the last week, we've seen uh, some of the CEOs of mine put out editorials, specifically in the business day. Today, the uh, CEO of Anglo um, basically talking about the role that mining companies now can play in the communities that they serve, simply because uh, obviously, if you have an increase in cases of cases on mines, that means that they're also directly putting the, the immediate community in. At, at great risk too. What do you think is going to change, if anything, about that relationship between um, mining community, mines rather, and the communities where they're established? I think the, the mining houses really, they will be having a serious challenge because the very same workers are coming from the community, of which in terms of the MPRDA, they are also liable for the communities. Therefore, they have to cast their net wider when they are dealing with the issue of objective testing. It will be very proper for the mine that they use their coffers, their monies to spread into the communities uh, to do this universal testing, assisted by the government, uh, for, for sure, because on their own they cannot. But furthermore, objectively, yes, the, 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 the communities must be part of that because the workers are coming from the community. The shortcoming is that when we call for, uh, for the testing, they opted for the uh, screening, uh, which is a thermal scanners, of which our main objective and our main cry was to have a proper testing. And I believe now they will listen as they didn't listen previously when we call for the agent coronavirus uh, summit. All right, Joseph Matunja, he of course is the leader of AMCO. Let's leave it there for tonight.